But if you all have done it, I'd like to know your opinion. Do you think it's just ridiculous to... Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today I am stuffing paycheck number one of May and I have my paycheck envelopes breakdown here and I do have this electronic format linked in the description box if you'd like to pick up a copy for yourself. So for today we will be putting the regular $200 in cash envelopes that amount hasn't changed and then $1,205 into sinking funds for a total of $1,405 today. So I do have my cash and we will go ahead and count that up first. I have it in my separate envelope here. So I'll move this to the side. Now, as far as cash is concerned, we have $905 in cash today. So we have one, two, three, and four, $400, put that there. 55, 875, 880, 885, 890, 895, 96, 97, 98, 99, 900, and then 901, 2, 3, 4, 905. All right, so we will go ahead and get started with the wallet first, and I'm going to blow this up for the cash envelopes and go ahead and pop on the screen how we break down our finances every month while I get out my dividers. Okay, starting with cash envelopes, we have our dividers here and we're gonna start with donations and we're going to do our usual 10, two fives, 10 ones so that we've got some change for things. 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. Next, we have gas, and we're going to pull $50, a 20, a 40, and a 10. There's a 50. Personal money, we're going to do 80, and we're going to get four 20s. All right, 20, 40, 60, 80. And then for fine money, I'm gonna put $40. 20 and a 40. All right, let me grab my wallet again. All right, wallet is stuffed. Okay, and then we're gonna come over to the sinking funds. Get that blown up pretty good. Yeah, okay. All right, so getting started with sinking funds. Open up this binder here. All right, so homeowners association, starting with that one, we're going to add $20 to this envelope. And now we have one 20, 40, 60, 180. Then next is lawn care. And we're gonna add 50 here. We have $50 bill. And that's 150. Okay, for taxes. We're going to add $100. So you gotta pay these quarterly taxes. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna add a, a whole a $100 bill. 
So now we have one, two, 50, 70, 90, three. Total of 300. I hate when my bills get bent. Probably a lot of them are bent, but if I see it, it bothers me. Okay, next is gifting, and we're going to add um, $80 to this one. Make sure that this is in the frame where you all can see. Okay, so we're gonna add 80 bucks to this one. So 50, 70, and 80. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven fifty-eight, eight fifty, eight seventy, eight ninety, All right, so that's the gifting envelope. And then next is essential savings. And I did make a little savings envelope and I um, ordered these from um, Pink X Budgets. I ordered it from her website. And so, you know, to represent the 15,000 in the essential savings, I, I got a 10,000 and a $5,000 bill from her website and ordered a little decal for savings. So I have that in here now, just to, visualize that amount so we're not stuffing essential savings though we're not putting electronically stuffing it we're not putting anything into it this time but we're going to switch over to our challenge our kind of a household challenge of three thousand in three months and i'm going to transfer five hundred dollars over to that account All right, so we're tra transferring 500 and go. All right, so we're on the 3K and three months um, challenge account. And this one is again for appliances. And then the next one after this will be for house painting. And then we'll see. But right now the current posted balance is $1,500. We have a, a pending deposit of 500. And then this is our new available balance. And so this will run through next month of June, and then we'll move on to the next challenge. So um, again, the next one, sh it should be house painting. And then after that, it may be a vacation. You know, people keep asking, where are y'all going this summer? And the answer is like nowhere <laughs> right now. It's nowhere. And I want it to be somewhere. So we are going to do that. And hey, you know what? I'm gonna throw something out real quick um, in the comments. Um, my, people have been saying, oh, why don't you do the timeshare thing where you go and listen to the two hour presentation, but you get like this, this wonderful deal on your room and, oh, it's just two hours of your life. And then you, you've got your three, four, five day vacation. Have you all done that? And if so, what is your opinion of it? Because um, my husband has, I have never done it before, but my husband has done it before. And he's just like, that's just, you know, he feels like that's just not the way to travel. That's, you know, such high pressure. Who cares if it's just two hours? And he said, another thing that he said, and I've seen in some people's videos is that, yeah, two hour presentation, but they can still try to hold you in that room talking to you, you know, to oblivion you know trying to still sell you something so it's not two hours you say no walk out you know it's two hours and then the real <laughs> pressure begins but if you all try you know some people make it a sport of traveling that way i found and um i've just never i've never done it 
um just never been in a position i guess to travel that way but if you all have done it i'd like to know your opinion do you think it's just ridiculous to you know be under that high pressure sales or whatever you know two hour presentation plus they're still trying to you know be hanging on to your coattails as you leave the room or do you all feel like hey that's the only way to travel listen to them for two hours strongly say no a hundred times and then get out of the room or what you know y'all tell me but anyway that was just the thing that came up this week that you know i started looking into and i'm like i don't i don't know how i feel never done it before my husband is like <laughs> he in a way he's like sure if you want to try it you know that is fine if you want to you know go and listen to him knowing that you're not going to buy but he just didn't feel like it's worth you know i guess what you have to endure when you're on vacation even whatever so y'all let me know y'all let me know in the comments what you all think of that kind of you know timeshare you know luxury vacation with a catch type thing but all right so i'll go ahead and close this out and we'll go back to the stuffing well, won't well, let me stop. There we go. All right, so we're gonna jump into our remaining sinking funds here. And you will notice I normally pop, pop this one open straight to the Louis Vuitton fund, but I am actually gonna change it up. I'm gonna change it up. I need a new phone. There's nothing wrong with my phone. You know, I say that you all probably gonna think so much differently, but I have an iPhone 6S. So I've had it forever. It still works. I still can text. My screen is not broken or cracked. I mean, nothing is wrong with it. It looks practically, yes, brand new, brand new for a, um, a 6s phone but i am ready to upgrade the technology i did have like an iphone 10 that i had for work at one time and i mean yeah i did notice that the, the technology seemed to be a lot better and faster and longer battery life i did notice that but still you know with my phone it was still working so i wasn't really about to you know, pay the money to get one but now i actually do want an iphone i want to upgrade it one i want to upgrade it one and so the 14 pro you know they have different ones but the 14 the iphone 14 this get is slated to come out i think september 23rd of 2022 of this year you all correct me if i'm wrong but um it's slated to come out this year so i figure i might as well just kind of shift you know and i did not change my thing let's let's go ahead and edit let's edit this real time and it was and that's a little eye and then uh then phone okay okay I got that change so we're going so it's going to be iPhone that I'm saving towards and again it's a 14 that comes out this year 2022 so I'm going to start putting the hundred dollars that I would normally put to the side for Louis Vuitton since there's nothing that I really want right now anyway um, and I, I'd rather have the upgraded phone at this point so I am going to just put the hundred dollars in here and start saving towards the iPhone all right, next is Hustle, and I'm going to add $25 to this envelope. A 20 and a 5. And now I have 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 200 in the Hustle envelope. Okay, next is unbudgeted, and I'm going to add $30 here. And a 20 and a 10. All right. So in the unbudget category, I'm gonna have 100, 20, 40, 55. So 155.
All right, and so next is Al's 2K Savings Challenge is what he's working on this year. And he is going to put this May amount, his first May amount is $55. And he's also gonna add 100, at a bonus amount of 100 for $155. Okay, and let's get the 100, the 50, and the five. Okay, put that 100 on top, and the 50, and then the five. Okay, now he has one, two, three, four, 455, 550, six, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. So he does have $680. I'm gonna grab my little Sharpie marker and let's mark off his 55 there and also his $100 bonus amount. All right, got that. And then next is my 5K savings challenge and I'm going to stuff 145 in mine this time. 125. All right, let's take out these two. And a hundred, the 20, 10 and five. All right, so, oh, 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 there's another hundred up under here, okay. All right, so we got 2,000, we got two $1,000 placeholders because we've already put 2,000 in the bank, you know, not to keep so much cash in these binders. And so the remainder is one, two, three, 354, 20, 40, 60, 75. So 2004, 75. Okay. And I'll mark off my 145 for May. All right, and I want to flip back really quick. And I've taken out the Louis Vuitton envelope and, and replaced it with the iPhone one. But I did have $600 in Louis Vuitton. Scroll back. Yeah, here's Louis Vuitton from the last pay period in April. I did have $600 and that was to get my cosmetic pouch and I did get it. And so I will flip it, I'll pop in a little snippet of that. I do have the complete unboxing of the cosmetics pouch at the end of this video if that is something that you would like to see. So I did wanna show where we left off with Louis Vuitton and we've retired that envelope for a while and um, and I may pick it back up because there may be, I think I said, I mentioned a bando. Um, so I may get something like that, but I have swapped it out for, and scroll back down, for the new iPhone envelope. And that's what we'll be working towards um, moving forward over the next several months until the iPhone, the new iPhone drops. All right, y'all, well, that is all for this bi-weekly paycheck envelope stuff and video. Please hang around if you're interested for, um, I think there, there should be some bloopers. I just made one. <laughs> so there should be a couple of bloopers back there. I usually, if I do an unboxing, I, I don't put the bloopers, but um, it seems like a lot of people like the bloopers and or the outtakes. So I think I'll keep them in you know, if you're interested in seeing them. So I'm gonna do the unboxing first and then I'll cut to the blooper reel. And that, that's the plan. That's the plan for editing Diane to do that and um, include that unboxing of the cosmetics pouch. And I also show what fits in there and all of that. So if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified the moment a new video goes live. So thank you all for joining me today. I love you all. You all are so positive. You all send such good vibes and I really do appreciate it. So until next time, you know what I like to say, take care of yourself and each other. 
Bye, guys, and happy Mother's Day to everyone. Bye. See y'all on the next one. All right, YouTube, I am back with my unboxing of the cosmetics pouch. And I love how these boxes are wrapped, so I'm just gonna kind of slide off the wrapping so I can, or slide the ribbon off so I can just put it back. Because I usually will put these on like either my bookcase or display, you know, that may be in my closet or something like that. So I'm just gonna slide this off. I'm gonna get it all off. Okay. Okay. I love when they send the little perfume samples. Let's see what this is. Oh, spell spell on you. Okay. So it's a spell on you fragrance sample. All right, so here's a cosmetic pouch. We'll pull this out of here and close the box, and I'll set the box over that way. All right, so we got the, the dust cover, and then we have the cosmetic pouch. And I went with the Domieri Bean print um, to match my other bag, that's Domieri Bean. And I figure, you know, they're interchangeable. You can use them in any bag that you have. All right, so the dimensions on this particular cosmetic pouch, it is 7.5 inches in length. It is 4.7 inches high in height. And the width across is 2.4 inches. And this is coated canvas. And it does have a washable, unzip this, a washable textile lining. Uh, you know, it's one of those linings where if you spill something in here, you can easily clean it up. And it does have the golden brass pieces, like this zipper here, and you know, of course, zipper closure. And it does have an inside flat pocket. And this particular piece was made in France. All right, so I've grabbed a couple of things here that I normally will have in my in a catch-all within my bag. And that's what I plan to use this for, pretty much is an overall catch-all. So let's see what fits. I normally will have, of course, my Fenty Beauty, what is this, Gloss Balm? Yeah, Gloss Balm Fenty Glow. I normally have this with me. And y'all, I do. I do have a full size floss that I take with me. I can't stand for anything to be in my teeth, especially if I'm out and I'm out eating and something is in my teeth. I have to excuse myself to the bathroom and get that out of my teeth. So I do carry full size floss and I do have a bridge. So sometimes I will carry this with me if I feel like there's something under my bridge and they, these are little flossers. So we'll throw those in there, see? Um, this is, I'm not I'm gonna butcher the name, La Vie Spell. Um, perfume uh, fragrance body lotion. I love this fragrance. I don't know if any of you all have tried it or like it, um, but I love this fragrance. I'm wearing it now. And so this is a hand lotion. Um, this is just a, co a little compact. It's just a mirror in here. And the mirror is kind of coming in loose. I need to glue it back down. But it's just a compact with the mirror. So I will keep that in there. This is just a little lip tint pen crimson crush it's by elf i've had this for a while i don't know if i've seen this in the store lately but i've had it for a while throw that in there i have a little lip gloss and this is just i don't know where i bought this but um it's in the color cinnamon so i do have this and then for my units i have the flyaway tamer from my first wig, I do have that. So if I'm feeling like I have a lot of flyaways, I need to lay it down a little bit, then I have this. And then we see if this closes. Yeah. Yep. And you just throw it right into your bag and go. You're ready to go at that point. So um, I think I'll get a lot of use out of this little cosmetic pouch because I do have other cosmetic pouches that I'm using, but you know, of course they don't match the bag or anything like that. So I did want one that matched the bag. 
so I do I like this one all right well that is all for this unboxing video I think I'm gonna hold off on any additional Louis Vuitton items right now and move on to something else I think the next thing I want to get is my iPhone I need to I need an upgrade pretty bad um, but I just wanted to show you all this item here that I that I picked up from Louis Vuitton all right y'all thanks for watching bye bye so we start out with one two three four hundred dollars then four fifty five five fifty five seventy five ninety five ten five thirty five fifty five seventy five ninety six ten six thirty six fifty six seventy six ninety seven ten seven thirty wait a minute i don't think i counted that right i don't I'm pretty sure I didn't count that right. Let's do it again. Okay. So we have one, two, three. <laughs> okay. 875, 880, 8. What? <laughs> Wait. Okay. All right. So now in gifting, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 758, 858, 78, 90, 9, 10, 9, 30, 9, 40, 50, 9, 60. <laughs> no, that was fine, but I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna count that one more time. Again, I've taken out the iPhone. <laughs> Let me say it again. Well, all right, y'all. Well, thank you all for joining me for this week's or this bi weekly pay stuff and. Ah! 